Hey folks, Robert here from North Star Day Trading. Just wanted to give you a quick update and brief overview of the fair value gap strategy and the fair value gap fills strategy uh, we have converted over here to Quant Tower. Um, now, fair value gap is is not is not mine. It is not original. Here, it's been around forever, uh, and it's basically just a set of three candles, and there's a gap between the first and the third candle. So if you're looking at this here, the market's moving along. We have a low here, we have another candle, and then we have a high right here. So the high is lower than the low of two candles back. This here would technically be a gap down. It's here and it gapped down to this. Okay, the fills strategy is going to take this trade back through this gap. So it's going to make an entry here make sure I have it right here. <clears throat> it's going to make an entry at this level when it comes back through. It has a target of this level and it's going to put a stop. If we look at this, uh, I don't know, this is like what, seven or maybe four points. So this would be four points down for a stop plus a little. I believe I have it set to 1.5 right now. So the stop would be down here in this scenario, expecting it to go long through this gap when the market turns back around again. We do leave it a little bit extra uh, due to the nature of market movement, uh, this being NQ, it whips around a lot. So we wanna make sure we have room. And I, and I know that the stop is further than the target and ratios and all that stuff. Uh, but in this strategy, that is not the case. This is just for small gaps, which we will go through in a moment, where, the, where it makes a gap down and we would expect the market to push right back up through it again. <clears throat> this is an example of a successful one. We have a gap right here. We have a high, we have a low, so the gap is in between and we can see the market broke it and it hit its target right there, okay? And the stop would most likely be, well, if this is say three points, it's gonna be about four or five points down here. So this is successful. And if we were trading this fair value gap fills strategy, we would be entering here and we would have a stop out in this particular scenario. So that is the fills version. The original version of fair value gap right here <clears throat> is when we have a gap down and then the market comes back up, enters it, and then goes the other direction. That is the actual fair value gap. In this case, the market entered for a short. Our stop is the other side of the gap. In our target, we can set to whatever we want. I have it currently set to two times the gap. So if this is four points, we have eight points. We have, I mean, excuse me, four points there. We have eight points here. So we're gonna enter and hit our target in this scenario. So let's go in over to Quantar itself now and see what it looks like. <clears throat> I'm gonna start with the Fear value gap fills, it's just the easiest to explain. And we can see in this particular chart, um, we potentially have an entry here. We have a potential winner. I'm not entirely sure, it depends on how the market moved. The same thing here, we, this gapped down, we have an entry, uh, depending on how far our stop was, this could have been a stop out or we may have made our target. We'll take a look at it step by step. We're looking at NQ, three minute chart, on market replay. I just grabbed the previous week from when I'm recording this video. Uh, let's look at the settings. Click on the settings. We're using uh, this current version. We have our symbol. We want to make sure we're under the market replay version of it. And we have our account. We have a live account. We have our market replay account, which we want. In this case, because these gaps are going to be so small, these trades, we're going to increase our contracts. We're using five. In this here, we want to match uh, the strategy to the chart we're using. We don't need to, we can just set the strategy to run wherever we want. What if we're monitoring it on a chart, uh, which here if you click on visualize or it basically pulls up a chart. If we wanna visualize it, we want the chart time to be the same so we'll actually get the plots correctly matching the strategy. So here's our strategy <clears throat> itself. We're going to skip gaps that are, uh, that are, uh, um, smaller than eight ticks, which is two points. And we're going to skip gaps that are larger than 20 ticks, which is five points. So we're taking trades from two to five points. And here's a stop multiplier. We're using it 
one and a half. So if we had a four point trade, our stop would be six points away. This is necessary for this type of strategy. These need to be matched here if reviewing it. We don't need we don't need to view the chart at all. We can just run the strategy and let it run in the background and it'll be perfectly fine. But for this demonstration, I want to share uh, and see what this looks like. So I'm going to use a three minute chart. Under the fair value gap, I'm going to make sure I'm using a minimum size of eight, which is here, and a maximum size of 20, which is here. So we can actually see the gaps as they are being played out. So let's run this a little bit. Um, let me back this down some for speed, turn on run. And what we'll see is, well, I'm gonna actually speed this up until we, until we grab a gap here so we don't have to sit around forever. Okay, oh, <laughs> it was a little too fast. I didn't, I didn't catch that one. <clears throat> um, but what we can see is there's our gap. This was a gap up this time, right? It's a, technically a gap up. So we have a high uh, here, a low here, three candle pattern, here is the gap. So one, two, three, it made the gap down. This ended up being a short. The target was the other side. The stop was one and a half times the target. Uh, and as we can see, we entered short, covered there, uh, and it shows us right here. Enter the position, shows the target and profit, and it shows that we close at the target, and it turned out to be 285 on the very first trade, which was pretty good. Uh, let's run this a little bit more, see if we can get a couple more of them. And then we'll switch over to the other strategy. Let's speed this up a little bit again. See if we can capture, capture one. There we go. All right, now I have one. <clears throat> this is a very small one. Really small. So we can see that we have another gap up. It starts plotting right here. You'll see the red here in a moment. It entered a trade. There's our target. Right? Enter here, target here, and there's our stop. Just a little further away. So let's slow this down quite a bit and see if we make our target or if we make our stop. Close to the target, and you can close these out at any time. So if this gets down and it gets within a tick or two, all right, pause it. We actually made it on that one. Okay, we made it through, and we have our second trade uh, here on the three minute chart, which both turned out to be good. <clears throat> So let's do, um, that's enough of that one as we can see, unless we wanna try one more and see a loss out of this. We'll see what happens. Let's take one more trade. Then we'll switch over to the original strategy. A little bit different setup on that one. And we'll make sure we go over. <clears throat> let's see if this plots one more. And we can see a gap forming here to here. So it should be a gap, there it is. Perfect, we have a gap down, so it's going to trade back through that gap. Let's see how it plays out. And we were fortunate to win our first three trades. We have a nice profit here uh, for that day. And this is Eastern time and it's at nighttime. This is just for demonstration purposes anyway. We're not trying to prove profitability here. <clears throat> okay, let's stop. This here is just a run and stop. So let's go and stop this strategy. Okay, forward a little bit, there we go. Now let's go to the other strategy, this fair value gap. Now this one, <clears throat> what this does, um, as I said, it, uh, it's the one that makes a trade when it enters the area to take it the other direction. Now we don't wanna use these small ones because all we're going to do is just blow right through all of these gaps, just like we did here. If this made an entry looking to go the other direction, it's only a couple points. So we need to increase our time frame. So let's go up to, let's take our chart time um, and let's maybe, let's make it 10 minutes. And I'm not 100% sure how this is going to look. We'll make it 10 minutes. Now we go to our settings. This particular one, we have uh, our date here. Let's make sure that we are using our market replay data. We have a market replay account. And this one here, we use two contracts. They're a little bit bigger uh, gaps. So let's just knock it down to two. As a matter of fact, actually, let's knock it down to one. And we are going to use a 10 minute chart. So again, with the strategy doesn't matter with the chart time. It's just that if we're going to view it and monitor on the way, we want these two to match so we can get the accurate information. And since these gaps are going to be larger, we don't want to take the real small ones. Let's, let's increase it. So let's not take any gaps that are less than 10 points. 
this might actually be 20 points, but let's go with 10 just for testing purposes here. Um, and then we have gaps that are our 200 ticks here. Um, so what is that divided by four? That's 50 points. So we're taking trades between when the gap is between 10 and 50 points. The size of the gap doesn't really matter too much because we want to get this trade just entering the gap and going the other direction. Okay, and our target we're putting as a two times multiplier. So if we have a five point gap, when we enter the gap hoping to go the other direction, so here's a, a gap up, it's going to come down into it, it's going to put in a long position. We're not going to trade through it this time, it's going to go into a long position, and we're going to take our profit two times the size of the gap. Okay, so let's see how this works out. I'm actually not sure if this is going to be successful or not, I just want to show the functionality. But we want to change our our uh, indicator here to match because we're looking at it. So our minimum size of 40, maximum size of 200. So we go here, our minimum size is 40, our maximum size is 200. We start and let's just go and refresh the data. And there's nothing on the chart yet in the 10 minutes. So let's turn on our strategy and let's turn on the replay. Now these are 10 minutes, so I'm gonna speed this up quite a bit until I actually see a gap. <clears throat> that matches the criteria. It may be a bit because this is at nighttime. Okay, we just had one, haha, <laughs> there we go. We got lucky. So here it is. We have our gap down, right? A high right here, a low right here, filling the gap in between them. And if you notice, remember the last time we would be trading up through this gap, this time we're just going to go short. We have a limit order, a short, a limit short right here. And I have this set to use 25%. Um, so when this market comes up, not when it breaks the gap, but when it actually goes into the gap by 25% of it, um, this is what, 420 to 428, that's an eight point gap. So 25% is about two points. So when it enters by two points, it's going to go short our stop is the other side of the gap, and then our target is two times the size of the gap. So now let's go and run this and see what happens. We may simply be stopped out, but this is a demonstration, so we'll see. I'm gonna to try to pause it if it gets, if it goes back up there. It's on auto, It'll auto adjust, if it even reaches it. <laughs> and I haven't seen this, um, this particular playback. So let's wait, hope for another location, another position. We can see we have the, our working orders down here. Let's get ready to pause. Okay, there we are. So we entered a short right here, thinking that we'll get stopped out and we have our target. And this is such a big push up at this time, right before the London Open. Let's slow it down. and see what happens here. Um, a little faster than that. See if it actually enters and goes the other direction. And remember, once this comes down and we start seeing some profit, you may want to close the trade. You can also adjust these. You can just take this and move it, okay? So this may be a good idea. Let's see if we can move it, make some profit out of this. Or if we get stopped out. We don't want to move our stops. Never want to move our stops. But if you see it doing this, it may be time. You may say, ah, I don't want to wait for those last couple of points and close the trade. Okay, so here we go. We show our short, we show our stop loss, and of course we pulled away from our profit there. Let's take one more. Or two more, depending on how many there are with this setup. And these are great for longer time frames, for larger higher time frames, because once when it has a giant gap down, it usually comes back up. See this would have, you know, it, it, this entered right here, but you know, we wanted to enter by a little bit. We don't, if we did take it on a wick in like this, we definitely would have had our target. Um, but you know, hindsight being 2020, <clears throat> let's see if we can get one more gap out of this. Now looking through the internet, this was the true way to trade these gaps uh, is once the gap forms, the market re-enters just to fill for liquidity fill and then continues on the path. So let's see if how true that is. 
a little bit further. This is US market time, so hopefully we'll be able to get something here. These are pretty big, so this one here didn't fill. I'm just, I'm just thinking it's, uh, what is this, too big? No, no, it's just barely too small. <laughs> Let's see if we can get it, probably. Here we go, here we go. Let's take this one. <clears throat> Refresh. Okay, so we have a gap. Here to here is a gap. Uh, and notice this is down a little bit. You know, let me slow this down quite a bit here. And once this candle closes, we'll, we'll start to see it plot uh, the actual gap here in red. So we're expecting the market to come down here, fill a buy on this limit order. Hopefully you don't get stopped out and reach our target. Speed this up a little more. No further than that, just to get this process going. In there, we can see the indicator starting to plot. And again, that's not needed or necessary. Uh, that's just for our viewing purposes. And we have a second one right here, this gap. So if we come down and enter, we are looking to go long if that makes that limit entry and hopefully not get stopped out. So there we are. There's our long position. Move this down. There's our long position right here. Hope we don't get stopped and we'll hopefully we reach our target. See if it pushes through and pretty close. And again, you don't have to wait. You can also, you can always take those trades. You can always close them. Nobody says you need to wait for it to go all the way to your target or to your stop. And this is a perfect example so far anyway. We're just gonna let this play out and not manipulate it at all. And we ended up hitting our target. So there we go, there's our entry. Did not hit our stop, hit our target. This one is still pending, as you can see. Okay, it's interesting that uh, this actually would have been a, a winner because <laughs> we entered and then hit our target. Uh, I think it was right around here somewhere. Uh, so hopefully this gives you a better idea of how these fair value gaps work and how the strategy works. Uh, hit me up if you have any questions and I wish you the best.